primary healthcare research and information service generates, manages and shares research, information and knowledge about Australian primary healthcare. Based on our experience in this area, here are some useful tips for you on spreading the word about your research. Before you begin to disseminate your research, it's worth taking a few steps to make sure you get it right. And it is best to do this before you even start your research and then review your plan regularly. So what is your message? Who's it for? Who and where should it come from? What are the best ways to communicate your message? Should it be oral, written or both? And when would be the best time to do this? What do you want to happen from this dissemination? The message is the essential core of what's being communicated and it will be interpreted in the light of how, when, where and by whom it is communicated. So remember, it's not what the message does to the audience, but what the audience does with the message that determines the success of your dissemination. As such, it's important to know what you're communicating and to work out how best to present the message to specific audiences. Knowing and understanding your audience can be very useful. For tips on how to use language to communicate to different audiences, watch our presentation on plain language communication. After you've established your message and how to best translate it to your audience, consider who should be the best person to deliver the message. The advantage of a researcher presenting their own work is the extensive knowledge they have on the subject. However, some messages are best communicated through others, such as champions or experts on a particular topic, government representatives and knowledge brokers, or consumer advocates. When it comes to the format you present your work in, there are a number of dissemination methods, and each depends on topic, audience, and desired outcome. These might include an academic paper, a report, and remember to include an executive summary, a media release, a meeting, a presentation, and there may be others much more suitable. When it comes to the timing of your message, dissemination can occur before, during, and after the research process. Keep in mind, if people are aware of the research, they are more interested in the results. Before beginning your research, it's important to think about how you want it to be used, whether you want your work to be cited, downloaded, or used to inform policy or practice. Thoughtful dissemination throughout the research process will determine how it will ultimately be used. So in summary, dissemination is critical to research. Keep it simple, interesting, and relevant to your audience. Be diverse and opportunistic in your dissemination and make sure you monitor your dissemination to determine its success.